So, uh, I will use this Pinterest photo. Uh, I've already saved it on my board. Let me show you. So it is uh, a really nice interior. So my Pinterest, if you don't know yet, it's Olga Art 888 So the same name as my Instagram account. And I have different types of boards. So this uh, reference photo I've uploaded, I saved to my interior board. And uh, let's check it. So this one. This one here is going to be our inspiration for today. Uh, so a quick, a quick note regarding this sketch. So what uh, we want to focus here. Uh, basically, it's a very simple one-point perspective. And as you know, uh, one-point perspective it is uh, the simplest type of perspective. So we have here this nice table. Uh, you can see this uh, composition is absolutely symmetrical, so all the lines are converging into one vanishing point, and uh, we have a couple of chairs here and there, and we have very nice uh, hemisphere of this lamp. So I will put it here, or maybe better here, because I'm a left-handed girl. So let's put it like that. Hope you can see. Let me know in the comments on this live stream if you can see everything. So let us begin. Uh, right now I will use a Unipin and it's a water and fade proof pigment ink. I really love it. Its thickness is 0.5 actually my favorite thickness. So let's begin and uh, let me remind you that the hashtag for this uh, challenge is a quick sketch challenge Olga Art 888 and today is day two of seven so use the same hashtag so I could see your drawing all right um, first of all I'd love to make a picture plane for this drawing so I can see everything then I will put a vanishing point so as you can see, uh, if we oh, let me remove this piece of paper, <laughs> it distracts only. Uh, let's see. We can prolong this line. So imagine that we these lines they are like running up to the vanishing point, and finally they are intersecting right here. So this point. Uh, it's located on the horizon line. So horizon line, it is our uh, eye level. So let's show our eye level and put this vanishing point. And next step is outlining basic silhouettes of our furniture. So our protagonist is this uh, table. So we quickly sketch it. Once again, it's a quick sketch challenge. So you guys can literally use a timer on your iPhone and uh, don't let yourself do this challenge over uh, 15 minutes. So 15 minutes is absolute maximum. So aim for shorter, aim for five minutes, for 10 minutes, 15 minutes max. And we draw a chair. I really love this design. It's one of my favorite designs. In general, uh, many of you guys already know, I guess, that I'm a big fan of Danish design, of Scandinavian design. Maybe it's because I lived in Copenhagen for a while. So as you know, I'm originally Russian. 
uh, but my husband and I, we lived in Copenhagen for almost three years, and uh, I think it was there where I was <laughs> bitten by uh, Danish design. I instantly fell in, felt in love with it. Uh, actually, I think I fell in love with, with Danish design even earlier. It happened uh, in my art academy, so I graduated from Art Academy in St. Petersburg, Russia. It's where I'm originally from. And yeah, we had a course on uh, history of interior design and uh, Scandinavian design and Danish design was covered there. So it's back to my drawing. It's really simple to draw these chairs here because they are mirroring each other basically. So, once you did uh, on the left side, you instantly do it uh, on the right side. Then, we will show the uh, line of the flooring area. Also, we want to show this corner of the room, like that. And you guys try to make all your lines very dynamic and quick. So here, as you can see, all the lines are running up to this vanishing point. Then we want to show our ceiling. So let's a little bit simplify it because here it's a little bit complicated construction for now because we want to focus on the foreground and I will simplify a little bit this ceiling construction. So, to make things easier for um, everyone <laughs> and for myself included. So, we quickly show it here. Also, there are uh, nice art hanging on the walls. Once again, we keep in mind, always we keep in mind this vanishing point. So, this is one point perspective. So, all the lines, check it guys, all the lines are running up to this vanishing point and if you don't know yet I have a free completely free video course on perspective drawing for interior designers and I cover the basics of one and two point perspective so just head over to my website Olga Art 888 and now we will uh, sketch this guy this hemisphere so it's located right above the table so how to draw ovals first i want you to draw it in the air so make like a speed 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 uh, drawing and then you touch the paper and you do it <laughs> all right so it's how i do uh, the ovals and then i finish this hemisphere also, it's a nice idea to show this beautiful, beautiful window on the background. Oh, show maybe some curtains already. Try to make all your lines really dynamic. Put a lot of energy into them. It is really, really important. So, we show window frame. Uh, we can quickly sketch the table on the background. Uh, also, we can show these nice two chairs. But don't don't focus on them too much. You know, it's a background all out. Attention should be on the foreground. So something like that. And finally, I will show this carpet lying here. And we switch to the next stage, which is gonna be coloring. So first of all, I'd love to start with this Copic sketch marker number E51. I will use its brush knee. So I really love to start with the lightest tone in the scene. Notice how I put my lines in the direction of the vanishing point. 
So always keep in mind this magical point, alright? Promise me that when you sketch, you always keep in mind this vanishing point. So that's it for uh, maybe just put here a little bit of this color to show these curtains. And then I want to switch to a little bit darker tone. This one is E31, so the previous one was E51. And once again, I will use. No, this time I want to use actually its white nib. Once again, I will do my lines in the direction of the vanishing point. So, this is uh, how we do it. Also, you can rotate the marker in your hand and you can get a slightly thinner line. Right now we can show the texture of wood and floor. Also, right now I will show drop shadows from the objects. So our light source is here. And we will show some back, uh, some drop shadows, and, and maybe darken, darken this area a little bit, like that. Then we can put this color here, add it to the lamp. Also to the pictures. And uh, um, we switch to the next one. So the next one, let me see what I like. I really like this dark emerald green from Touch Markers. I will use uh, its brush nib for the So I quickly color all of them and then I wait a little bit until they are dried and I put some more of it. So right now, as you can see, I think I really need a piece of paper here because I want to draw on the next next piece of paper. So I darken it here. It's really great advantage of professional markers like Touch, Promarker, Copic. They give you uh, this ability to draw in layers. So I added this color also here in order to support this uh, color. So the next one will be dark brown. It's gonna be dark brown and I will use its white nib. So I will use it here and I will add it to the legs. And of course to this lighting. So we are pretty much done. Uh, maybe a bit of it to the background. Actually, you always want to focus on the foreground because it's our like, the most important part of the sketch. And then you can add some art some abstract drawing here to the walls. I do it with my Palomina black wing and I'm not very satisfied how sharp it is so I will quickly make it sharper. It's my favorite kind of pencil, this pearl from black wing and with it I want to quickly sketch this 
slant from the background because if I would sketch it with uh, my black liner it could probably look too intense for this drawing for these purposes or if I would add a lot of emerald green color to the background it would instantly draw our attention to the background uh, but I want our attention will uh, stay in the foreground maybe I will add uh, just a little bit of green just to support this color in the foreground just quick sharp strokes something like that also I think I'm I love to emphasize this wooden texture in the foreground add some lines that reflect wood we are actually almost done with this drawing so just basically final details and finally I will use I will go back to my black liner and I want to emphasize this foreground a little bit add some nice details to it maybe darken it here and there all right and maybe let's add this vases and some flowers I do in, in this abstract way also add here this emerald green finally we put our signature so Olga Sarakina and you guys if you are interested in uh, mastering perspective drawing with markers head over to my website and you will find courses for beginners and for advanced these are self-paced online video courses and you can uh, go and watch them from anywhere in the world 